Yeah. Well, it's Monday. Normally on Mondays, at times, we also want to talk about it because it's a whole weekend. There's yeah, a lot. There's, there's a lot. lot. So trying to pick. Yeah, yeah. but just at the same yeah. time, just to say that, you know, it's not so, it's not the best time for everybody. Feel scarcity and all of that. Yeah. Talk about protests. At least the president has come out to say that, look, it is everybody's right to protest, mm -hmm. but you don't have a right to destroy things. I think that's what everybody's agreed on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody's agreed on that. Protest is not a problem. It is the it is the things that come on the concomitant mm -hmm. destruction of properties and where people, yeah. where you have some elements mm -hmm. who decide to use that as an outlet. Mm -hmm. That's where there are issues. So yeah, yeah that one is. Uh, that's, meanwhile, that's um, in in people's houses, people's houses are also upside down these days. Yeah, um, there's a lot of protests. <laughs> Climbing the, the everything, climbing the curtains, climbing the, the wall, breaking things. Yes, now they are protesting the being kept they're indoors. Keep being kept in the house. <laughs> they're protesting. The kids are protesting being kept in the house without snacks, without all the extra food that was often available. Mm. Because now people are still, they're cutting their coat according to the fabric they have mm. and not their size, uh, mm. as, as, as it were. Um, but there are so many conversations about things we can do to be intentional with mm. our families mm. during this holiday period. Mm. Do you have holiday, uh, like uh, any holiday plans for the kids? So beyond, beyond even the holiday, I've always thought that parents generally should be more intentional as to how they treat their children, the things they say to their children, the things they expose their children to. Uh, the base of this conversation has to do with a tweet that was trending over the weekend where a man, uh, well, we don't know the gender of the person, but the person asked a child to put something down, you know, put that thing down or else I'll beat you. And the girl went, ah, if you beat me, I'll not cry. Wow. When my mom, when my, when my dad beats my mom, she cries, but me, I will not cry. And so th it's actually sparked conversations because on the one hand, some people were like, my goodness, th there's a lot of abuse she's being exposed to. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, some people were like, okay, Maybe the girl is misunderstanding the the, the what the, the, the beating. Oh, yes, I don't know how to put okay. it well, uh, but wow, like man. yeah. Wow. So the, it was actually the conversation. However, <laughs> the point to bring out of this is, children are watching mm. this holiday season. What are you doing to keep them properly engaged so they do not get into any any scrapes? Let let me put it that way, because you may not be able to control what might come out of it. We, we, underst we underestimate children a lot. We think, oh, this child doesn't know this. This child is too little to think this way. Yeah. Huh. But children, they are smarter than you think, and you need to be very careful. That you really thing, do that need to be. That thing you said is very true. They are smarter than you think. Yeah. They are at an impressionable age. I'm telling somebody it's easier for a kid to learn how to speak a new language, even than an adult. Yeah. You know? So yes, they, are, they can be, and then they observe, and then when they do, they might not want to talk about it, and then oh. they go outside. Um, this, this, um, hmm. yeah, another story that someone even told me, this one happened with a family that is separated somehow. Mm -hmm. Not like separated, separated, but mom is somewhere, dad is somewhere. And then there's somebody that came, comes to take care of the house. And not like anything, and then the little girl goes to spend time with grandma or something and goes, oh, daddy's girlfriend came, this other time, da 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 Wahala. I'm telling you, and not, not like there was anything like that. This one person comes it's to clean the kina. house. Comes to exactly. Clean. And wow. this is a kid and all of that. And then she goes and talks to grandma. Oh, and then grandma called grandpa and then serious fight. Hey. Wow. You understand what I'm saying? And yeah. it was not I was it was not the girl's fault because you know she's a kid and you yeah. know but maybe what they, I'm saying. Maybe they've been telling maybe her they... call her auntie this, call her auntie. Oh that. no, that's even it could even be things like maybe the girl sits, the cleaner sits down to have a cup of uh, tea with the grandpa, they talk about things. Yeah. And so the child remembers, oh, when Grandma and grandpa used to be, that's what they do, they gist. So maybe oh, there's something is, going and on. And it gets, to the, point where, it gets yeah. to the point where now, um, the other day I was with my nephew, and he, of course, the, mainly you, you jump, the first thing he jumps to is your phone. Mm -hmm. And then this same guy, a friend came in, deleted WhatsApp off this, my friend's phone. Ha! And she didn't know, it was later, later, it's like, wait, what happened? Seen ah, seen there's no WhatsApp. Wow. Was there for you know, just tap it. Create. It taps. And then wow. he, he, he even went in front of me, it was in my phone. And then I was watching him. Oh, I was watching him. <laughs> I don't know when Baba entered dark mood. And they wow. went into different <laughs> places. And then, and then you see the way. Yeah. No, it's not about tech. Yes, there are people who are tech savvy. But then there, there's it's some kind of distraction that the screen offers to kids mm -hmm. at this particular point in time. And then now they, are, they know how to find their way around it. It's such a way. And now parents, because of, okay, hey, 
it is actually stressful raising a kid the way we were raised, <laughs> having to ensure that, oh, you're sitting. And then I know of some a friend of mine and his wife who homeschool. Ah, I kudos to them. They've been homeschooling. The kids are now like six, seven, and they've been homeschooling since. That is hard. Yeah. It is hard. Mm -hmm. You understand? But now you get to a point where by now a lot of kids now do things or find ways around your devices mm -hmm. and go around to places where you cannot even monitor what they are doing mm -hmm. on these places. And then you get these subliminal messages that a lot of cartoons, YouTube especially, if you are going to use some YouTube, get the app YouTube for Kids. Yes. So what happens is that it's not like there are no things that are there, there are things that are not, you know, that you wouldn't like there, but the thing is that at least to an extent... Streamlined. They, you know, they, there's, a, there's, a, there's, mm -hmm. there's a bar. Mm -hmm. To an extent, mm -hmm. they curtail a lot of these things. Yeah. But then we know these days, cartoons are not just cartoons. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. If you don't mm -hmm. believe in a particular letter, mm -hmm. they can be pushing it to your kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's, it's really... So the point is monitoring. Mm -hmm. Monitoring and intentionality. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, if you are going to give a device to a child, you specifically need to make sure you've deleted certain things from that device. And you know that this device is only the kid that's going to use it. Never leave an adult device with your child unattended. Uh, never do it. A lot of people do There are old, older versions of phones, mm. uh, fairly used phones and all that that you can get. Clean the phone out. Delete all the social media apps. Mm. Put the ones you need in there. If it's films or cartoons you want your kids to watch, download and put them in, or well, get them and put them in the right place mm -hmm. you need them to be. Be very intelligent. Spend a long time, as if you were, up, you know, creating, uh, you know, uploading things for yourself. Think about what your kid is watching. So I this see, is. I see. I saw a young girl, 11 year old, with Snapchat. I'm like, what is an 11 year old doing wow. with Snapchat? Wow. So I don't see I any don't issue wondering. with an 11 year old d d using Snapchat. I'm wow. sorry, but I don't. As long as it's monitored, Snapchat some of them use it just. Tagging. Some of them use it just for saying? the filters, location whatever reason. Tagging. But I just wanted and to say that, that, app, that the story. That, that app is a just bare app. Wow. <laughs> no, they don't get involved yeah, in it. Uh, yeah, but what you. I just wanted uh, to say. Don't quickly, give your daughter Snapchat. Is that <laughs> I don't tell you. The cartoons, the cartoons okay, that no. are being shown now are not as engaging as when we were children. Well, and that's the truth. Well. They are not as interesting. When we were children, <laughs> put, you, put a child in front of TV, you are engaged. Oh, but gosh. now, there are options, but they are mostly crap. And that's the reality. It is well. But we have to take a break now. We do. Let's take a quick break. We'd love to hear your thoughts, though. Use our hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC and tag us WakeUpNigeriaTVCE on Instagram with your thoughts. We'll be back after this.